Hey everyone, welcome back again to our walk through the unvarnished Jesus. We are in the footsteps of Jesus during his Passion Week right now, and we are at Station of the Cross number 10 today. Today is a passage where Jesus is hanging upon the cross. It is found in the account of Luke chapter 23, and I'm reading beginning to verse 32 down to verse 38. It says here, two other men, both criminals, were also led out with him to be executed. When they came to the place called the Skull, there they crucified him along with the criminals, one on his right and the other on his left. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they divided up his clothes by casting lots. The people stood watching, and the rulers even sneered at him. They said, he saved others. Let him save himself if he is the Christ of God, the chosen one. The soldiers also came up and mocked him. They offered him wine, vinegar, and said, if you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was a written notice above him which read, this is the king of the Jews. Well, we come to the central moment in the grand story of the Bible. It is the crucifixion of Jesus. The Old Testament has been pointing the way to this moment, and the rest of the New Testament looks back on it and gives to us meaning of what is occurring. Upon a torture instrument reserved for the worst of criminals, Jesus will utter seven words from the cross. These are words of hope, healing, and the promise of a new humanity. Each statement is the lasting words of a dying man, but a living God. And today, I want you to notice the one that is mentioned in our account. At the center of these seven statements is the utterance of grace Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. I love Fleming Rutledge in her book, The Crucifixion. She mentions in the book about the horrors of crucifixion, but this one stood out to me. She says, crucifixion as a means of execution in the Roman Empire had the express purpose of the elimination of victims from consideration as members of the human race, end quote. Crucifixion, it's a terrible way to die. It's dehumanizing and it is demonic. Yet Christ demonstrates that the very nature of God himself is to offer himself self-sacrificially. That could also be the height of our humanity as well. Humanity that is made in the image of God is never more like God than when we say, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Certainly, this is true in our day and age, as we look, continue to look at the horrors of the war overseas. Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. Would you pray with me, please? Lord Jesus. When you utter the words of forgiveness from the cross, you reveal to us the heart of God, the willingness to be killed than to kill. Help us to understand that we all act in ignorance, even though we think we act in brilliance. Father, help us humbly to depend upon you and to realize, Lord, only you can save us from ourselves. Amen and amen. God bless you. We'll see you again tomorrow.